this is such an important prompt. And I feel like I keep saying that on here, but, um, wow, guilt, um, guilt versus shame would be the conversation I would bring up. Um, they're different as many of us know, in the sense that guilt serves a purpose. It's meant to, at least. Um, and it can get a little bit convoluted and, um, it can be complicated if you've experienced a lot of situations, um, and been made to feel guilty a lot. Um, but it's different than shame in the sense that there is something productive about it. Um, you know, it's kind of guilt is, you know, I made a mistake, um, versus, or, you know, I, I did something wrong versus shame being, I am wrong. You know, I am a mistake. Um, I'm bad. And with guilt, it's, you know, it's helpful to kind of try to, um, have some perspective and, and zoom out. Um, and to, yeah, ask yourself if, if there's, you know, what would kind of ease the guilt? What would, um, is there some kind of repair relationally that I can attempt to make? Um, you know, what am I really guilty for? Um, and just kind of making sure that you are able to determine if it is, if it is guilt or if it's shame. Um, and if I did something wrong, what can I do to make it right? And sometimes we can't do that. And that's, those are, you know, it's a painful circumstance. Um, and then how can I forgive myself? Um, you know, can I make amends or can I forgive myself? Um, we all make mistakes, but I think really differentiating the two is a really important step. Um, especially for someone who maybe identifies as a person who is riddled with guilt. Um, because yeah. And then, I mean, with probably my background as a, you know, mental health person, professional, I would be curious about childhood, you know, and kind of the household you were raised in and were you meant to feel, you know, guilty a lot or were you made to feel guilty? Um, so yeah, I guess I will leave it there, but, um, it's a really important question and I really look forward to hearing what other people, um, think about this.